Hi Floss Tube. I'm Steph and welcome to my channel Stitch Goes My Heart. For all of you who uh, have been following me and subscribing, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming back. And for anybody who's new, I'm so glad you found me. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you subscribe and um, want to follow me on my journey. So today is Saturday, December 7th and just want to say again thank you. Thank you to everybody who uh, has been following me. I just appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. Love the comments. Just, it's been awesome. And um, this is uh, earlier in the day for me, so I'm kind of feeling a little tired and I've been sneezing. I am praying that I'm not getting sick again. People, I don't have time for this. So just anybody who's out there who's a praying person, pray that this is nothing. Because, no. Can't do it. Can't do it. So, I just said that Saturday, December 7th. Thursday was first Thursday, and I had missed the first Thursday in November. It was um, so much fun. I had missed it so much. I am so sad that I missed first Thursday in November, but I'm so glad that I was able to make this one. Sorry, guys. I'm woo. Um, it was so much fun. There were so many people there. And everybody was giving out gifts. It was so cute. Uh, we weren't expecting it. Well, I I had a gift to give out uh, because I had planned to give a gift out actually in October um, to celebrate my one year anniversary of going to meetups and to thank my main core group of ladies who have um, changed my life this past year and have just, uh, just, it's been wonderful. And uh, that didn't happen. So I made them to give them out in November. And then I got sick. So I ended up having to give them out um, this first Thursday. I actually show you. I made little needle minders. <clears throat> and they're Thanksgiving themed. And I kept one for myself. But I don't know if it's too blurry. If you can kind of see that. He's so cute. Um, I made bottle cap. I, I made the whole thing. But um, they were really fun. So I gave those out. And I actually had enough left over to <clears throat> excuse me, give to some new people who were there or people who weren't regulars. And I have a few left over that are for my regulars who weren't there. So don't worry, you guys, I saved some for you. Um, and then it's so cute. Diane, um, had, um, um, a tray with some needle minders on it and just passed it around for everybody to take one. And this is the one that I picked. That's really cute. That was so sweet. Thanks, Diane. And then Wendy, um, made these cute little bags and she didn't make enough, unfortunately for everyone, but if you were lucky enough to get there early, you got one. And, um, I actually found out Becca, uh, Sambri stitches. She and I got matching bags and we didn't even know it, but this is the bag. Isn't that so cute? I'm so in love with this, um, pattern. It reminds me of Michelle Palmer. I don't actually know if this is a Michelle Palmer print because it doesn't have her name or anything but it reminds me very much of her and I love Michelle Palmer it's just a cute little bag more like a little accessories bag but super cute that was so sweet of her to make those and give those out and then Becca my friend Becca who I just mentioned Sambri Stitches um I had made a little gift for her and she surprised me I had no idea she made this for me and it says do you hear what I hear and it's sheep and I love sheep is that not the cutest and look at how, isn't that such a, it's just the most perfect, simple, perfect finish. It's absolutely my aesthetic and I love it so much. Thank you so much, Becca. Love it. So can't wait to hang that up on the wall. Um, and, um, I did get some haul, but I'm actually going to save that for my next video. Like I said, this is a short video and there's a reason why I'm doing it. There's two reasons why I'm really doing this. Um, I'll be doing a regular video. You know, I was hoping to do it before Christmas. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but it might be right after Christmas. But anyway, this is a, a special, just a special little one. Um, so I'll show more stuff. Like at first Thursday, Marsha, um, my new stitchy friend, Marsha Carlson, um, she had actually given, she had come to a first Thursday um, earlier this year and gave me a chart to give away on my old channel. And she contacted me to let me know that she was going to be coming to Acorns and Threads for first Thursday. And she'd be bringing more charts for me to uh, use as giveaway items. And she she was so sweet, though. She said that any of the charts that I wanted, I could keep for myself. And I had, I'm had i going to admit that there are a few in there. There's a couple Blackbird designs that I don't have. And I told her, I'm like, 
if it's really okay that I keep these, I'm going to keep these because they're, you know, you guys, I have that love for Blackbird Designs. I got, I have to, I'm sorry. Um, but she gave me just a pile of amazing um, cross stitch patterns, all brand new, um, to use as giveaways. A lot of them are lavender and lace, so if you guys are lavender and lace fans, you're going to be really excited. And so I'll show those in my next video, and I'll be doing giveaways for those, and that'll be so much fun. But uh, again, I wanted to keep this short and, and all that, but I did want to show. So one of the things, I had placed an order with Marion, my Marion, um, Caddy Cross Stitches at, um, on Etsy. And I had ordered some snippeties and um, uh, a I asked for a matching bag in um, one of the things. So she brought my order to me. I mean, why mail it when I'm going to be seeing her? So anyway, she made me look at this project bag. Is that not the cutest? The inside fabric, I actually have a project in here. But the inside fabric is just this cute, you can't really see it, swirly, yeah, you can kind of see that. But it's holding my Winter Rose Manor. Look, people, look. I got it all kitted up. Okay, so, so she made me this bag, which I love. And look at how cute with the adorable matching snippety. I mean, could I be cuter? Come on. So cute. So love it. So anyway, I had placed an order with her and ordered a couple other snippeties. And one of them is one I, uh, you guys have no idea how much I adore this snippety. I want it so bad. But I was thinking, you know what? Some of you guys out there who don't know what a snippety does in your life, you really need to experience it. And so this is what I ordered for myself, but I'm going to do a giveaway, people. And I'll, I'll talk about it again at the end, but I want to show you because this is actually part of my haul and my order. But look at this. This is the front. Look at this. Look at her. Is that not the cutest? Come on. So cute. So this is going to be the giveaway, people. Love it. Okay. So talked about haul first Thursday um the giveaway here's the real reason why I'm on here I am about to run out the door and go ship this off to my friend Liz Matthews at hello from Liz Matthews I finished the model stitch people y'all ready to see it it's called a Pennsylvania bird and it is actually a re-release of a pattern that she had released in 2000 and it's going to be available on January 7th along with seven other cross stitch patterns so Check, keep an eye out for that. January 7th, you can all run out and go buy this chart. But I finished it. I haven't ironed it or anything. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm going to just kind of pan it in here and go slow. Isn't that stunning? Didn't she do a fabulous design? So cute. So if you guys love that... January 7th. It's going to be available for sale. Run out and buy it. I'm going to buy it for myself because here's what I decided to do. I love this design. It grew on me. So, I mean, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. But as I was stitching it, you just, I kind of fell in love with it. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this for myself. But because I already stitched it, and you guys know I like to change things, I stitched this with the called for colors exactly the way it's charted because it's a model stitch. But because it's a model stitch, that's what I had to do. So here's the thing. I've already stitched it exactly the way it's supposed to be stitched. So I think when I'm able to get my own pattern, I'm going to restitch it. And I think I might change some of the colors. Maybe change just a little bit, you know, to make it Stephanie-ified and uh, make it my own. Because I don't really want to stitch the exact same thing again. But I love it so much that I want to have it. But I'm going to Stephanie-ify it. Is that a thing? Stephanie-ify? So, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, you guys, January 7th. Keep an eye out. Hello from Liz Matthews. So, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I came on here for. I just wanted to let you guys uh, see that update. I know many of you, oh, I lied. I have more haul, just two more things I wanna show you. See, I'm, eh, yeah. Okay, some of you guys may know um, Paulette Stewart, <clears throat> Plum Street Samplers. She just was at a retreat in Australia for linens and threads. 
I think that's what's called. Yeah, Linens and Threads. And she has an exclusive chart through them. I'm sure it'll become available, but you know me and I like exclusive charts. And it's an exclusive chart through them. You can buy it. So I jumped on there and I had to order. Got it from Australia. And I just got it in the mail yesterday. And it is called My Early Days. There it is. You kind of see that? Isn't that so cute? And duh, sheep. It's so cute. Love it. So I had to get that. So I was so excited when I opened my mailbox yesterday and I saw that I had a package from Australia. Love it. And then one other thing. I am part of the Dying to Stitch Kindred Spirits Club, but I am not part of their Quaint Ladies Club, which is Pineberry Lane, but I love it. Well, I was a lucky duck and I uh, came across um, Stash Unloading and or Stash Unload actually and someone was selling her kit and drama cat crying out there. Different one this time. Holy smokes. So crinkle crinkle. Sorry. But look at this. I had to, I had to get it because I'm not part of the club, but I love it. It's so cute. It's called Mary and Bright. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, Drama Roo. She's nuts. Sorry, people. This is my life. Okay, so that's my haul. Okay, so I have more stuff. I'll do another video like regular later. But anyway, the model, awesome. I'm gonna show it one more time, because why not? Because this is what I came on here for. Look at that. I'm going to ship that off today. And then this. Giveaway. Snippety from my fabulous Marion, whom I love. So, if you want to win the giveaway, don't say giveaway. Be 18, be a subscriber, like the video, and just say, I'd love the snippety. You don't have to spell it correctly, but it is spelled S-N-I-P-A-T-T-I-E. Snippety. And just say, I'd love the snippety. And I'm probably going to give it a week. And everybody who uh, enters, I'll put you through a random number generator. And I'll do an announcement. And then I'll ship it off to you. And hopefully you get it before Christmas. So anyway, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear them. I love your comments. Um, anyway, just I love you guys all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.